Hello, in this video tutorial, I'm going, I'm going to show you a few ways of deleting the very first element of the array. Uh, if I want to delete an element, in this case, I want to delete 11, uh, what I have to do is I have to shift everything to the left and then remove the last element. This is one of the possible solutions. So let's go ahead and write this code. So first, uh, I need a loop, right? Let's, let's let's start our loop. So of course, I have to start from the beginning of uh, the array, and I will go all the way to i less than num dot length, right? But uh, in this case, what I have to do is I want to copy the second element to the first element, third element to the second element, and fourth element to the third element, right? So what happened here is uh, before I get to the end of the array, I have to copy the forty four to this location. So instead of going all the way to uh, the last index, I just simply go ahead and do minus one. So I will go up to here, right? And then I stop because simply I can say whatever element, whatever is the i plus one, get the next element, right? Let me write it. You will understand it better. So I just go ahead and increment the value in order to get to the next element of the array, right? And now we'll go and say, okay, now I'm at location zero, which in this case, uh, is 11 is equal num allocation i plus 1, which is 22. I'm simply copying the 22 to 11 on the first loop, then 33 to 22, and then 44 to 33. So by the time I get to these third element, since I have a plus 1 here, I should not pass the uh, last index. That's why I have minus 1. So if I just go ahead to the browser and show you the value, you should get a better idea about this, but this. Okay, let me just bring this one up, refresh the page, just go ahead and type num. So right here, as you can see, I have copied the uh, values. I got right of 11 and I have 244 because I still did not remove the last element. So at this moment, there are a few ways of uh, solving this issue. Uh, I can either use uh, delete uh, the last element, which leaves an undefined. I do not want to do that. Or I can go ahead and say num.length minus minus. This is one way. Or I can simply go and say num.pop. So to remove the last element, right? So uh, this is one way of doing this, removing the last element. Let me just go ahead and uh, uh, do the other one. The other way of doing this is, is very easier. So there is a built-in function that we can use. So I can go and say num.shift, which, re, which removes the first element, right? Let me just go ahead and do this. So I will refresh the page. I will just go ahead and num top. So as you can see, since I have done minus minus and pop, I have lost more than one element. Let me just comment these two and go back to what we had originally. If you remember, we had uh, uh, 244 at the end, right? So let me go back here, or maybe better, I just print this. Console.log num, so we can see the value before. Uh, after the operation, I can even see it before. That way I can compare, right? Let's go back here, refresh this. So I have this, 11 is gone. This is copied twice, right? Now, if I go ahead and print this one right after shift, let's see what happens. So I refresh the page, and then you can see the last element, uh, the extra element is gone, and the first element is gone as well. So. Uh, I can do any of these ways to actually remove the first element. I hope you enjoyed the video. Talk to you soon. Bye.